Hi, it's James here, founder of CDNFI.com. Welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to set up an SSL certificate on your resource, on your custom domains. So you can have cdn.yoursite.com, but also have secure links as well. Now, the first thing you need to do is purchase an SSL certificate. Um, this can be any kind of certificate you like. I recommend um, using Namecheap. I'll put a link below this video where you can purchase SSL certificates for very little, about $10 a year. Um, Komodo Positive SSL will do just fine. So we'll add that to our cart and purchase, and then we'll get started setting it up. Okay, now we've purchased our SSL certificate from a third-party SSL provider such as Namecheap or maybe GoDaddy, we can begin setting it up within, C, uh, within CDNFI control panel and also within the actual uh, SSL provider's control panel. As you can see here, I have got the first step of the uh, SSL creation wizard. So first of all, we need to add our custom domain. Now, it's important to note that you can only upload an SSL certificate for the first custom domain you pick. You can have multiple custom domains pointing to a CDN. However, we'll only work with the first one. So what we need to do is we need to set up uh, cdn.demo123.org. Uh, that's going to be our custom domain, and that's going to be the URL we use to provision the SSL certificate as well. So as you can see, we've got a custom domain now set up, cdn.demo123.org. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up the actual DNS. So th this URL is pointed towards our alias on our CDN, uh, which in this case is, is sslddemo.a.cdnfi.io. So I'll assume that you know how to do that, or if you don't, then we'll have another tutorial separately which covers on setting up DNS and pointing uh, custom domains to towards your CDN. So our next step is to generate a certificate signing request and also a private key for our SSL certificate. Now, if you've ever created certificates before, perhaps you're familiar with using cPanel, you'll be used to doing this using maybe the cPanel or the Web Host Manager wizard. But in this demo, because uh, when using it as a sort of separate thing away from cPanel, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a CSR using an online tool called csrgenerator.com which is uh, obviously free to use. And we're going to just fill these fields out uh, with the relevant information to us. Common name, which is the most important part, in this case is cdn.demo123.org, which is obviously got to match exactly what you have entered in our control panel as the custom domain. When we're ready, we then click Generate CSR. This information is really important, so you need to copy and paste all of this and make sure you save it locally. The private key is absolutely critical. We can't lose that. If we do, we could have to start this whole process all over again. So we'll copy that and we'll save it on a text file on our computer so we can refer back to it later. Okay, so we can begin setting up our certificate on a Namecheap. First of all, it will ask us to select a server type. We recommend selecting other. Then we enter our CSR, which is a certificate request, which was uh, given to us by csrgenerator.com. So we just copy the first part of that. We don't need the private key here. And now it's asking us to verify a email address, in which will send us a link to click on an approval link. This basically verifies that we actually own this domain name, and therefore the, C the SSL certificate is, you know, provided to us once we've clicked this confirmation link. Um, in this case, I'm going to use admin at demo123.org. You'll notice when you set these up that there are a set list of email addresses you can use. So if you haven't got one of these specific email addresses, what I recommend doing is just setting up a forwarder so it forwards all mail coming to this address to one of your other email addresses. And then we click Next. Finally asking us for a bit more information. Um, I'm going to change this uh, final email address to mine. This is effectively where the certificate will get sent to. And we click Submit Order. Okay, so now within, uh, so I think it says within an hour, it will send us uh, an email to click on a confirmation link. So let's head on over to Gmail and we'll confirm that now. As you can see, we've received an email from the certificate authority, in this case it's Komodo, asking us to verify that we've requested the certificate and obviously 
This proves that we therefore own the domain name. Now what we've got is a code which we need to enter into a, a field and then we, so we copy that into a clipboard, we'll click on the confirm link and then ask us just to confirm that code, click next and that's it. So now our certificate has been approved and it will be emailed to us shortly. And once we've received this, we can then input it onto the CDNFI control panel and then our SSL certificate will be live and ready to go. So let's do that now. All right, so in the final stage of this process, we need to go back onto our CDNFI control panel, choose the custom domain we want to add the SSL certificate for, uh, to, and you can see here it asks for two things. Firstly, the certificate, and secondly, the private key. Now, the certificate we've received in an email. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you'll get, once you've, gone through the verification process, you'll then receive an email which contains the certificate and we've got that at the bottom here. So what we need to do is just copy that and paste it into our control panel in the certificate field. Now you'll see um, it says please enter a valid SSL certificate. What you need to do is make sure that you've not got any spaces at the beginning or the end of the SSL certificate. And as you can see here, there's a space at the end. As soon as I delete that, a box goes green which means the certificate is valid. It's very important that you do also include these handles, begin certificate and end certificate. They are actually part of the certificate itself, so paste them in as well. The same goes for the private key, which is what we got from CSR generator earlier. I told you to uh, keep it on a text file on, a, on your local computer to keep it handy because you'll be needing that. And again, we're just going to copy it from beginning to end, including the begin and end handles, and paste them in on our control panel. Again, make sure there's no funny characters or spaces or anything like that. And we should have two green boxes, which means both fields have been validated. Click modify. And it then uploads our certificate. And as you can see, um, it detects the, uh, when the SSL will expire, which in this case is a year. And we have now a green lock beside our handle. All right, so the last thing I want to do is just verify that this SSL certificate is actually working. So I enter our secure link, which obviously starts with HTTPS, and then, in this case, cdn.demo123.org. And then we click the padlock. We can see, obviously, the padlock has gone green, so it doesn't look like we have any issues there. If we choose connection, you'll see, again, we've got nice green boxes on Chrome just to prove that this is how SSL is, is valid and it's working and everything, and the user is connected on a secure connection. And if we to click on the certificate information, we can see that the certificate was issued um, today. Obviously, it expires in one year, in the 23rd of April 2015, issued by Komodo for cdn.demo123.org. So that concludes the tutorial showing you how to set up SSL on a custom domain on cdnfi.com. We're the only CDN to provide this functionality and provide free custom SSL certificates for all customers. And we do this because, obviously, SSL is very important these days and it's very important to offer your users a secure experience. And branding is also really important for our customers too. So if you're thinking about signing up for CDNFI, it's a great feature. And as I say, we offer it at no cost included as part of all accounts. Thanks for watching.